Take your time. I think we have two hours, you can. <laughs> I have so many questions. <laughs> I'll start by just saying thank you for so many things. So I'll ask the question that's maybe the hardest to ask first. Um, I am an erotic educator, and I'm embarrassed to ask this because I'm relatively new to satsang, and I feel like a girl who didn't do her homework. You know, it's like I haven't read any, and there isn't material to read. So, but I love to hear you speak about pleasure and sexuality as portals to embodiment and bringing us to the thisness. And, yeah. The question, if I've understood it correctly, is how does pleasure and sexuality and all of that translate into an actual experience also of thisness, of, of the materiality of the system and of the experience of, let's say, sitting in the body. So one thing, before we go into that, is that the more you move into experiences of dissolution of identity, the more you actually detach from the experience. For example, by saying, I'm not this, I'm not that, and I'm not the other. Or the more you go into long hours of meditation, not short, but lengthy periods of meditation, or lengthy chantings, and things which basically take you out of the system and lead to a dissolution of identity, which means also a detachment from this, the less you will be able to experience the experience of sexuality, which this system, when it is conscious of itself in a material sense also, is supposed to and meant to experience. One who is not here cannot experience. If I am that, then I cannot be this. And if I am that, then I cannot actually experience life through this. So what happens is that the more you, you actually are present here and now in a state of surrender to soul, to love, the more this entire system can show love through all the means at its disposal and all the vantage points of perception that it has. A system which is materially aware of itself is aware of itself not because it has taken off into, into space, but because it's very, very present. When it's very present, the consciousness expands and the very cells of the body become more aware of themselves. It's almost like a, a cellular material self-realization process that happens. And when that happens, if that person who is living in this thisness then is in a physical relationship with another, then their very physicality will be that much more aware of the physicality of the other. The more awareness there is, the more actually the joy that is meant to come from that physical connection will be there. Because the more you're in surrender, the more joy. The more you're in surrender, the more these cells are, are conscious of themselves. Because you're present, you're not spaced out and asking who am I and taking off on a conceptual sort of a roller coaster, labyrinthine ride, you know. It's just you're present and you're tuned in in surrender. So obviously, you'll be tuned into the other and you will materially be able to communicate materially in a, let's say, in an act of sexuality. That material communication with the other will be much, much more real, much more intense, much more present and therefore, much more what it's supposed to be. If you move to another vantage point of perception, if you move to, the, to the, the emotionality of your being or the emotional consciousness, which is where the emotions happen and which is where they are also interpreted by the conceptual, 
if you are in that state of surrender, the, the consciousness also expands into the emotional. The emotional becomes more aware of its own emotionality and is therefore master of it rather than victim. And then, because it is master of the emotions, in a sexual exchange, the, the sexual exchange deepens into, into communication rather than simply the experience of pleasure because there is an emotional, conscious emotional communication going on because if you're really, really present, would you not then be more present to the other? If you're spaced out in, in a meditative state, in a half samadhi state, you can't, you're not even here to connect with the other. The more you are present here and now, the more heightened the sexual communication can be. Take another state, the unity consciousness state. You can have a unity consciousness where you're one with the cosmos, but then you're not one with this one here. If you are meant to live what this body is meant to live, then the consciousness has to expand into the unity consciousness and allow you to choose to move into that state with the other, with the partner, where the sexual communication can then move from, let's say, a, a, a conscious, aware, material communication to actually a oneness experience with the other where you shift and move, or you move to, to, to this chakra, then you experience the, the divinity of the other, where it's like two gods dancing with each other, a god and a goddess. How are you supposed to experience that if you're spaced out? So it's a lot about being here and now, very much about being present. If the sexuality has to be what it's supposed to be, then it has to be experienced from all six layers of perception. That presentness is so important for a fulfilled sexuality because sexuality is not about pleasure, it's about communication, it's about heightened communication. That surrender to soul is what readies the system for surrender to the other and surrender to the other is the foundation of sexual communication or communication through sexual exchange. So that is how these two things fit into each other. Thank you. Can I ask one more? I don't see any hands up right now. There were a few, but um, I think I'll have to take one, 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 and then if you don't see a hand up, then you can come back. Yes, we have enough time. Thank you. Yes. You know that importance of surrender in sexuality is like, it's like sexuality just cannot be experienced for what it's supposed to be if that surrender is not there. It just cannot be what it's meant to give and what is meant to happen cannot be experienced if that surrender is not there. <laughs>